Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 21st, 2022, Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit, through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you are also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Responsorial Psalm Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean. Who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord. A reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him. That seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot and so it is. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. Reflection Jesus spent much time walking from one place to another. He knows how to read the weather signs like others who live and work outdoors. He is inviting us however, to look more deeply into the patterns of events. It is not enough to be good at reading weather signs. We need to be able to read the signs of the times. Jesus, seems to be demanding a further effort on our part to take responsibility for judging what is right. We need to inform our conscience in order to make good choices. The ecological damage to earth and sky calls for a real engagement on our part to change our lifestyles. If a refugee trapped in a camp somewhere were to become our accuser, they might indict us for refusing them a place at the inn. Let us welcome them now rather than find ourselves excluded from the feast later. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.